a rainy day at the farmer's market. I heard the honking of the horn as my dad's truck pulled into the driveway. Immediately, I knew it was time to stop playing catch with my dog. My grandmother called, Matthew, your dad is home. Please come help him. I was disappointed. It was a cloudy Saturday and I thought we would be able to skip the farmer's market. I had hoped to do what I wanted today. I had hoped to do what I wanted today, but no such luck. Matthew, grandmother called again. I'll be right there, I yelled. Please get the big umbrellas from the basement, grandmother asked, said. It looks like it's going to rain. I still had to put, put on some shoes. I decided to wear my cowboy boots, but I couldn't find them. I looked in the front closet, upstairs, and by the back door. I could have, could have worn my sneakers, but I really wanted to wear my boots. I knew that if I didn't hurry, everyone was going to be upset with me. Reluctantly, I put on my sneakers and went outside. By, the, by then, there were only a few crates of produce that needed to be loaded onto the truck. I could have used your help, son, said Dad. Kayla helped me load all of this produce into the truck. I knew he wasn't happy with me, and I felt bad that my sister Kayla had helped instead of me. I started to explain how I wanted to wear my boots, but I couldn't find them. Then I realized how selfish I sounded. Grandmother came outside, and I helped her carry a box of fresh baked goods. Once we were all in the truck, Dad drove toward town. The farmer's market was located in a parking lot behind the town square. Dad stopped the truck at the main entrance to check in. Good morning, Bill, Dad said to the attendant. What's the weather prediction? It's not looking good, said Bill. He directed us to where we should park our truck. Dad drove the truck toward our parking space and then carefully backed in. We set up our table with fruits and vegetables on one side and baked goods on the other. Grandmother's homemade pies and cookies made my mouth water. We'd better put up the umbrellas in case it rains, said Dad. I gulped. I realized I had forgotten the umbrellas. Dad, Grandma, and Kayla looked at me expect expectantly. I'll be right back, I yelled, and took off running before anyone had a chance to say anything. I knew that my friend Jose and his family were supposed to be at the market, so I searched for them, keeping my fingers crossed that, they didn't, that it didn't start to rain. I ran past tables of flowers, fruits, vegetables, and even homemade soaps and hand-knitted sweaters, but I could not find Jose. Exhausted, I continued searching through the rows of tables. I reached the last row with growing concern. If it rained, our truck would get soaked, and so would my family. Finally, I saw Jose. I ran over and almost collapsed. Is, there, is everything all right, Matthew? asked Jose's mom. I gasped for air as I explained how I forgot our umbrellas. I asked if they had any extras we could borrow. Of course, Jose. Please help Matthew, said Jose's mom. Then it happened. A drop of rain hit my face. Jose and I quickly pulled out two large umbrellas from the family's truck. Jose helped me carry the big umbrellas back to our space. We had to go slowly, being careful not to bump into anyone. The market had opened for business and it was already crowded. We arrived just in time. As we opened the umbrellas, the few drops of rain began to turn into a steady drizzle. Dad smiled and nodded, seemingly pleased that I had solved the problem on my own. After we set up the umbrellas, Jose hurried back to his family. Luckily, the rain didn't stop the crowds, but the rain sure taught me a lesson that day. Number 1. Matthew and his family go to the farmer's market regularly. Pick two details from the passage that best supports this inference. A. Kayla helps load the crates onto the truck. B. Matthew knows his friend Jose will be there. C. Grandmother bakes pies to sell at the market. D. Dad knows the name of the parking attendant. E. Matthew thinks the rain will allow them to stay home. Number 2. What lesson does Matthew learn in the passage? Use details from the passage to support your answer. Number three. The author uses the word disappointed in the passage. Circle the group of words in the sentence that best shows that idea. It was a cloudy Saturday, and I thought it would, we would be able to skip the farmer's market. I had hoped to do what I wanted today, but no such luck. A. Cloudy Saturday. 
B, skip the farmer's market. C, what I wanted today. D, no such luck. Number four. Which of these inferences about Matthew is supported by the passage? A, Matthew does not get enough exercise. B, Matthew wants to go to the farmer's market. C, Matthew does not care if his family gets wet. D, Matthew enjoys eating his grandmother's baked goods.